So today, we will be creating a bitmap image, such as this one, using a hex editor. The bitmap file itself can be broken up into bytes using a hex editor, such as this. And you can break down the image itself into individual bytes. All a bitmap file is itself is just a collection of bytes with coding that tells the computer that this pixel should be red and this should be green. That the file size should be 25 pixels total, etc. So, this coding right here, this set of hacks, is actually what represents this image itself. To a normal person, it's just going to look like a bunch of numbers and letters kind of construed together. But to somebody who has worked with hacks before, or worked with a BMP image, you'll be able to discern what the different parts of this are and what they all mean. So first let's go over the three different parts of a hex file. We have the bitmap file header, which is going to be from what I highlight here. The bitmap info header, which is what I highlighted there. And the rest of this is going to be used to describe colors that we want for each individual pixel. Let's create our own. To start off with, we need first two bytes. So each one of these groups of numbers are a byte. It's represented by a hexadecimal number. So the first two are 424D, which represents BM, or bitmap. So if you ever see 424D at the start of a hexadecimal file, you'll always be able to tell it's a bitmap image. Next part we need to do is the size of the file, which is going to be 86, which in hex equals 134. I'll explain why it's 134 pixels towards the end of the video, but for now just hold on to the fact that the image itself is a total of 134 bytes, or the file itself is. After that we'll include three zeros, and then we'll need the reserved bytes, which would be two, and then two, and then the offset of pixel bytes, which is going to be 36, and then three zeros. And that what, that's what comprises our bitmap file header. Moving on to our bitmap info header. Our bit fat bitmap info header is going to be represented by 40 bytes. So the first byte that we are going to input is going to be 28, which represents 40 in hex. So 40 bytes total, represented by 28. And then we're going to include three zeros. Next up is the width. So if we look at our image. Width is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what we need to do after the structure size is end up putting in the width. Since I've already talked about that, since it's 5, we'll do 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Next is the height, which is also 5, so it's going to be 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The next is the display plans, or the number of display plans, which is 0, 1, 0, 0. Number of bits per pixel, which is going to be 18, 0, 0. Next is the type of compression, which is just going to be four zeros. The number of bytes in the picture, which is 50. So it's two bytes per pixel. And then the number of bytes in the picture, or, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. After that, we need the horizontal resolution, which is going to be C4, 0E, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Vertical resolution, which is C4, 0E, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then the number of colors, which for us, it's just going to be four zeros. And then the number of important colors, which is just the number four zeros. And right there, we have the bitmap info header. The next is the pixels. So in order to do the pixels, we must first understand how a bitmap file organizes it. Instead of starting at the top left, it actually stops at the bottom left. So it starts here, and it goes to the right, and then goes up, and goes to the right. So we'll be focusing on this pixel first. Now each color for each pixel is represented by three bytes. 
So in order to get a red pixel, we need to do 0000 FF, which is represented by the BGR scale. You might be used to the RGB, which is red, green, blue. The BGR is just blue, green, red. So it's 0 for blue, 0 for green, and then FF for red. So that'll give us a red pixel. Green's up next. So in order to do that, we needed to do 0, 0 for blue, FF for green, and 0, 0 for red. I'm going to fill out the rest of it, and then I'll talk to you what we need to do next after that. So, after f finishing that line, we need to include padding. So a padding is just going to be one extra byte. It just makes the line so that it's an even number in order for us to, in order for the bitmap file to be able to recognize it. If it was a 4x4, we wouldn't need to include this padding, but because it's a 5x5, we need it. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to do each and every single one of these pixels. I'm just going to take full here, and I'm going to copy this, and then paste it in. I'll highlight that for you if you want to stop the video and copy those in quickly, you can. When you've done that, you're going to want to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save this as test2.bmp and save it to my desktop. I already have one, so I'm just going to replace it. So, if we go to test2 and open it up and zoom in, there you have it, your BMP file. That's how you create a BMP file and a hex editor. One last thing, the reason it's 134 bytes is because if you look at this, there is 16 rows of 8 plus a, six, a 17th row of 6. You do 16 times 8 plus 6, you get 134, so there's 134 bytes total. That's where this 86 comes from. That's how you do it.